I walked in on my mother one time crying, praying in a chicken spot. You don't want to see your mother like that. Let's see what she was going through. I was like, yo, I, I, I got to help. I got to do something. But French was already 10 steps ahead of me. So I became, I became my father when he left at, at an early age. We're not doing that. We're going to stop here. Oh, this is good. Welcome back to GMA3. That was a clip from the recently debuted Tribeca Film Festival documentary for Khadija. It chronicles the untold life story of rapper French Montana from his childhood in his home country of Morocco to immigrating to the Bronx as a teenager. The three-time Grammy-nominated and Diamond-certified recording artist recently added filmmaker to his resume, and he joins us now to tell us more. Please welcome French Montana. <laughs> I mean, this is an incredible immigrant story. You say mm -hmm. you've been working on this since 2017, and you say it's the best thing you've ever worked on in your career. Why yeah. was it so important for you? Um, I mean, you know, you can listen to like a thousand songs that artists can do, millions of songs, and you can walk right by them in the streets. You know, you can see somebody one time on TV, if their story is right, you'll remember them every time you see them for the rest of their life. And I think that's, you know, I always believed in visuals, and I always, you know, wanted to do something that represents where I come from. And you arrived in the U.S. when you were 13 yes. and learned that you were an undocumented immigrant. What was it like for you? Um, you know, when I, when I learned I was undocumented, I felt like I was in a, you know, in a dark place, you know what I'm saying? But I realized that I wasn't buried. I was just planted as a seed to grow, you know, and I, it was, it was kind of like that for me. You know, I realized that I, you know, I couldn't go to college because I couldn't play basketball. You know, without, without papers, I couldn't get a job because I didn't have no papers. You know, I felt buried, you know what I'm saying? But that's what made me French Montana. So, French, this, this doc is named for your mom. Yes. For Khadija. It didn't start that way, though. No, it I did was not. reading that it started really to be, obviously, more about you and your story. Mm -hmm. How did it morph into being named for your mom? Because my story didn't exist without her, you know? And, and her sacrifices is what pushed me to sacrifice even more. I felt like her making those decisions when I wasn't even old enough to make those decisions, you know, I think she took that leap of faith before me. I think she, she believed in something higher than me before me. And in the documentary, you see you with your mm -hmm. mother, you walk in, you're, hey, pretty, and you're asking yeah. her if there's any food. It, yeah. It's such a different version of you than I think a lot of people have ever seen before. Why would you, why would you share that? Um, you know, um, 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 being vulnerable at this stage of my career is, is something that, that I had to do. Just because there's not too many unique stories of immigrants that make it in the, in, in, you know, in the U.S. And I want to be the example that, you know, you could be vulnerable out there and share your story so other people can step forward. On rappers, uh, Drake and Diddy, executive producers of the film, what was it like working with them on your story? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Drake and Puff is like... You know, my, my close friends, I knew them since I came in, um, in the music business and they helped me throughout my career. And it was, there was also part of a lot of things that was included in, in, in the doc from the first time I signed to, you know, all the records and a whole decade of, 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 of friendship. And when it was time for me to do it, I had, I had did it and I played it for them. When I played it for them, you know, Drake just put his hoodie on and started crying and, and, and you know, it's like it's a real story. All right. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it, French Montana. Thank you for Looking having me. Looking fly as ever. <laughs> thank, you. Always. thank you for having me. Shy, get a little comfable. Uh, of course. Love <laughs> to see it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.